Hello, MB Timers, it is I, Friendly Neighborhood INFP, and today we're going to be talking about the INFP B face. I haven't sworn thus far, and I don't intend to start now, and besides, what else am I going to call it? The INFP banana face? Come on now, I'm even I'm not that silly or weird. Mm, banana. Anyways, INFPs and other introverts have been given the resting bee face uh, phenomenon put on them. Typically, it, it has been put on thinkers more often than feelers, but it goes across the spectrum and it's usually placed on introverts more than it is placed on extroverts, despite the fact that there are extroverts with this kind of face. But that's besides the point. We're not going into that whole ordeal here. We are talking about the INFP B face uh, or the INFP resting B face and the reason why we're talking about it is because there's this I want to say inaccurate viewpoint on INFPs that is stating that INFPs are the ooh woo and super happy and the super soft cinnamon bun soft fluffy people that must be protected at all costs meanwhile their face could sometimes appear as it is ripping you to absolute shreds if looks could kill INFP's looks would be amongst those that would kill uh simply because of the resting bee face phenomenon and it's not that you know there's anything particularly wrong with it and Putting across the people who are like, you should smile more. They have their own problems and we're not, we're, we're just, we're gonna, we're just gonna know. We're just, no. All of the no there. The reason why I want to talk about this is because INFPs, and this is kind of part of the whole INFP misconception bit that I did before. You can watch that video. Um, is that people expect certain types, facial exp facial features, <laughs> why did I say, fa almost say facial expediences? That makes no sense. No sense. Like, yes, facial, face, wow, I, Peter Piper picked a pick of pickle peppers. My ability to articulate suddenly <laughs> has gone wee. Anyways, back on topic. INFPs with the resting B face and other introverts with the resting B face, but specifically in this case, the INFPs with the resting B face, people have this tendency to believe that INFPs are always looking soft and always looking welcoming and just want a friend and will approach you and go up to an INFP and congratulations, they're your friends because ooh woo. Uh, oh, no. Mm, why did I just do that? Why did, what, what is wrong with me? Oh, boy. Um, okay. That, maybe that was too far even for my standards. Oh, getting back into it. This perception of INFPs is simply not true. Every INFP I have come across has had some type of serious face serious resting b face gloomy sometimes even depressing face are there infps who smile yes do i smile at times yes is that our native go-to place to be that smiley person who everybody can approach on a no um at least i have not witnessed it in an infp thus far and I don't intend to, I mean, start looking for it. Like, people should just be left to be who they are. And a lot of people seem to think that INFPs are like ISFJs. Or they're like ENFPs. Or they're like ISFPs, although ISFPs also struggle with the uh, resting B face. So, yeah, we'll leave that there where it is. And 
they'll make these, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, misinterpretations of what that person uh, should be or should look like or should act like these assumptions, if you will, as to this is how you should be. And part of that comes with the expectations that INFPs need to look like soft, weakly people that must be protected at all times because they're always in la-la land and never down to earth. Now, granted, while it is true that I, as an INFP, would love to be nowhere else but in La La Land, I also know that I must also be down to earth, because if I'm not, what is reality? And this this is a thing that not a lot of people realize, is that just how down to earth INFPs can be, despite hating it and it is in those moments well where you'll see that resting b face you'll either okay for an infp you'll either see a resting b face you'll either see them in you know their happy place or you'll see them be like what is life what have i done to myself what is the meaning of my existence just what am i supposed to do what is the struggle of mankind am i one to go out there and do that which i must or who am i to be that which i am shall i then end myself much like the darkness that consumes me yeah there are those infps too usually within the teenage years sometimes going beyond the teenage years regardless on that point my point is is if you want to meet an INFP, you're likely going to meet one who isn't smiling at you, at least not at the start. Um, they might, depending on the circumstances of the situation, um, for example, if they have to, or if they're excited to meet you, or if they're in, you know, one of those happy moments, they may be smiling at you, but 90% of the time, they'll just be like, And then people will come up to you and they'll be like, hey, what's wrong? And you're like, nothing. And they'll be like, you should smile more. And you're like, how about you go and stick your, no, no, not going there. Not going there. Not, not, no, 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 mm -mm, nope. I need to be nice. Continuing on. Take that for what it's worth. Most INFPs have a... Um, resting bee face. They don't look like that. Ooh, ooh. Uh, gentle type people that you're searching for. Uh, can they be gentle? Can they be, you know, soft? Can they be all of that? Sure. But most of the time, we hold very strongly onto our convictions, onto our values, onto our morals, onto what we believe in, and we can be incredibly stubborn about it. Um,. To the point where it may be like pulling teeth to try us to change our viewpoint. Uh, part of circumstances and part because that's just how we are. Now, with that being said, don't assume any type should have a certain face or look a certain way just because they are a certain type. Because oftentimes those, uh, shall I say, misinterpretations or assumptions are going to by and large be wrong and one should never and this is the moral of this entire video never judge a book by its cover with that being said i will see you guys next time bye bye